हर हर महादेव सबको मेरा नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू दिस पॉडकास्ट इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द अपकमिंग लूनर इक्लिप्स ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ अक्टूबर दिस मंथ हैज बिन वेरी इवेंटफुल आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेंट टू पॉडकास्ट वेर आई हैव ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज इन स्टोर इन द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर ऑफ कोर्स एंड देन द सोलर इक्लिप्स and then in the last podcast i tried to tell you that what will happen when shani comes into dhanishta nakshatra and as soon as i start talking about nakshatras i get a lot of um, you know queries and you know people ask me that how is it that your predictions are on point and uh, you know whenever you give a prediction that's how things start shaping out you know let me tell you one thing that if i really start talking about proper authentic astrology you all will be completely mesmerized that is the only word i have because astrology vastu jyotish vastu shastra jo hota hai they are such amazing subjects and shastras but you know the tragedy is that nowadays the so called best astrologers also do not have that in depth knowledge about astrology like for example it's so easy to put in your details in a software and just you know say that okay this is your d1 chart and this is how your d9 chart looks like and predictions are made and a lot of people i have seen you know they call themselves celebrity astrologers and they call themselves internationally renowned astrologers but लेट मी टेल यू दैट एस्ट्रोलॉजी अपने आप में एक साधना है ज्योतिष वास्तु एक साधना है एंड द मोर यू रिसर्च ऑन दीज सब्जेक्ट्स द मोर यू लर्न एंड द मोर यू कैन जॉइन द डॉट्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इज इट विच इज स्टिल लेफ्ट टू एक्सप्लोर देखिए वेन वी टॉक ऑफ नाइन प्लानिट्स एवरीबडी इट्स इट्स नॉट अ रॉकेट साइंस एवरीबडी कैन डू दैट देर आर मेनी यू नो बुक्स ऑल्सो विच हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस लेकिन जो हम जो किताब पढ़ते हैं जो क्लासिक टेक्स्ट हैं हमारी एस्ट्रोलॉजी के जिसमें मैं सूर्य सिद्धांत को सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट टेक्स्ट मानती हूँ उसमें अगर आप देखें तो हर जगह नक्षत्रों का जरूर विवरण आता है यानी देर आर ट्वेंटी सेवन नक्षत्रज एंड नाइन प्लैनेट्स एंड एज सोन एज यू स्टार्ट स्टडिंग दीज नक्षत्र यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द प्लैनेट बिहेव वेन इट ट्रांजिट्स थ्रू वेरियस नक्षत्र ऑल्सो इट्स लाइक सेंग दैट इफ यू एज अ पर्सन यू आर ट्रांजिटिंग थ्रू यू आर मीटिंग डिफरेंट पीपल देर आर ट्वेंटी सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ पीपल यू आर गोइंग टू मीट एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन डिफरेंट प्लेसेज वेर यू आर गोइंग टू मीट सो आई एम श्योर दैट यू एज अ पर्सन यू आर गोइंग टू बिहेव डिफरेंटली विद ऑल द ट्वेंटी सेवन पीपल एंड द प्लेस दैट यू आर मेक मीटिंग दैम विल ऑल्सो मैटर इमेजिन जस्ट बाई सेंग दिस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द चेंजेस सो सेम चीज एस्ट्रोलॉजी में भी होती है और ये and and you know when i give a podcast i always say that i am very careful about speaking something and there's a lot of research that goes behind it because after all when you're speaking something it is like uh it's it's like an oracle it's it's something very divine so you might as well do your full research and talk about it i don't like to say things um from a standpoint of various rashis because i feel that giving out a general outlook is enough for making everyone understand that what are the things you might face and uh, what are the possibilities that you might encounter so um and you know one more thing i want to touch about uh, in this podcast is that uh, Uh, ये जो एस्ट्रोलॉजी और ये जो वास्तु और ये जो हम बातें करते हैं ना ये वास्तव में जब मैंने बहुत डेप्थ में स्टडी की और इतने साल हो गए अब इट्स मोर देन थ्री डेकेड्स अब मुझे लगता है कि ये जो सब्जेक्ट्स थे ना ये सिर्फ राजा महाराजाओं के लिए ही बने थे बिकॉज दे व दंस हु हैव डिज़ाइंड देयर लाइफ हु हैव डिज़ाइंड देयर स्पेसिस उन्होंने अपने महल अपने इतने बड़े बड़े जो महल थे उन्होंने इतने परफेक्टली डिज़ाइन किए थे एंड दे हैड एब्सोल्यूटली नो डाउट 
यू नो रावण अपने आप में एक बहुत बड़ा वास्तु एक्सपर्ट था विश्वकर्मा जी सबसे बड़े आर्किटेक्ट माने जाते हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं हमारे शास्त्रों में इन चीज़ों का विवरण है ज्योतिष का वास्तु शास्त्र का विवरण है लेकिन ये शायद राजा महाराजाओं के लिए ही बने थे प्रॉब्लम अब ये आ गई है जो मैं आई एम ट्राइंग टू हाईलाइट इज दैट नाउ दिस इज रीच द कॉमन मैन you know now everybody wants to get astrology everybody wants to get vastu but the more common man is going towards these things the more doubts are arising and that is somewhere responsible for diluting the shastra and diluting the whole uh, magnificence of these subjects ab aap dekhiye ki aap kisi raja maharaja ke stature ke aadmi se agar aap Uh, मिलेंगे या जिनसे भी मैं मिलती हूँ उनके मन में कोई डाउट नहीं होता है एस्ट्रोलॉजी को लेकर वास्तु को लेकर दे हैव एब्सोल्यूटली नो डाउट दे विल जस्ट से दैट ठीक है गुरु माँ आपको जो करना है आप करिए um, आप जैसा बोलोगे वैसा हो जाएगा दे हैव एब्सोल्यूटली नो डाउट एंड आई थिंक दैट इज हाउ दैट इज ऑल्सो वन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ हाउ योर सक्सेस इज डिफाइंड और वाई योर सक्सेस इज डिफाइंड बिकॉज राजा महाराजाओं की भी जब आप कुंडलियां देखोगे तो वो आई एम श्योर वो बैठ के किसी से ये तो नहीं पूछते होंगे कि अच्छा इसको यहाँ रख दिया हमने लेकिन अभी तो कोई फ़र्क पड़ा नहीं अब हमने दस दिन हो गए हमने ये उपाय किया अभी तो फ़र्क पड़ा नहीं हमने वास्तु कराया अभी तो कुछ हुआ नहीं सी दिस इज ऑल्सो वन रीज़न वाई दीज अमेजिंग शास्त्र हैव गॉट डायल्यूटेड बिकॉज the capacity with which the capability with which the common man understands this is only for his small benefit to jaisi demand supply ki baat hai aap jo demand karoge aapko supply waisi hi milegi aapko shortcuts chahiye to aapko shortcuts batane wale jyotish acharya mil jayenge aur vastu shastra experts mil jayenge lekin मैंने ये चीज नोटिस करी है तो आई एम ऑनेस्ट इनफ टू जस्ट से दैट आई हैव नोटिस दैट व्हेन यू आर गाइडिंग समबडी हु इज ऑफ दैट स्टैचर सच पीपल हैव एब्सोल्युटली नो डाउट दे आर एक्सट्रीमली सरेंडर्ड एंड दे विल नॉट क्वेश्चन एनीथिंग दैट यू आर डूइंग दे रिस्पेक्ट योर प्रोफेशनलिज्म दे रिस्पेक्ट योर एक्सपर्टीज इन अ सब्जेक्ट एंड दैट इज हाउ वन वन एस्पेक्ट इज क्योंकि मैं लग्जरी वास्तु की जब बात करती हूँ वेन आई टॉक ऑफ अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लग्जरी वास्तु आई ऑफन लाइक टू से दैट इट इज इट इज द द थाट ऑफ लग्जरी दैट मेक्स द वास्तु परफेक्ट एंड वाइस वर्सा सो जब भी आप किसी भी बहुत लग्जरी वाले इंसान से मिलते हो तो आप ये देख लीजिएगा कि उनको कभी भी किसी भी चीज़ में ना तो डाउट होता है और ना ही कोई इंटरफियरेंस होती है उनको जैसा बोला जाता है वो वैसा ही करते हैं बस फॉलो करते हैं अब देखिए महादेव ने भी अपना महल जो है रावण से बनवाया था रावण जो है वो वास्तु एक्सपर्ट थे और रावण ने उनका महल बनाया था एंड आई एम श्योर दैट महादेव ने और माँ पार्वती ने जाकर उनको बार बार नहीं बोला होगा कि यहाँ क्यों करना है ये क्यों करना है विश्वकर्मा जी ने उसको डिज़ाइन किया और वास्तु शास्त्र जो है वो रावण ने किया सो so, why i am addressing this issue is also because every time i give out a podcast and a prediction uh, people should be very very understanding and open to the possibility of um, the good things happening in their life and avoiding all the bad things so coming back to the topic of uh, the lunar eclipse on 28th of october of course lunar eclipse is eclipse on the mind eclipse ऑन दी थाट प्रोसेस चंद्रमा जब राहु केतु की छाया में आते हैं तो हमारे दिमाग पर जंग लग जाता है वी शुड नॉट टेक डिसीजन्स वी शुड अवॉइड पुश डिसीजन्स अहेड डज नॉट सीम टू बी अ वेरी ग्रेट टाइम कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आई हैड ऑलरेडी प्रिडिक्टेड वेन द मंथ स्टार्टेड एंड दीज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आर द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन सेल्फ इन रिलेशनशिप्स ऑन द स्टेट लेवल ऑन द कंट्रीज लेवल ऑल्सो I still see some conflicts increasing on the borders. I still see some form of violence happening, some form of uh, disasters also happening that can intensify around this time. 
what is happening with the solar uh, with the lunar eclipse is also the rahu and ketu changing their um, rashis on 30th of october and all the kal sarp yogis need to be extremely extremely careful all the people who are uh, having rahu mahadasha and ketu mahadasha extreme caution for all of you because whenever rahu and ketu change their axis major events change in your life and because rahu ketu both are demonic energies sometimes you just feel that it's it's the right thing to do but it just happens to be the wrong and sometimes it's just the opposite so spiritual belief system is the only one thing which this um lunar eclipse is going to point out at which means that um it is going to bring about a change in your belief system it is going to bring about a change in your values you will understand how important it is to be spiritually aligned any form of overconfidence will shatter um shani jo hai he is going to become direct in capricorn on the 4th of november which also means that sade sati will intensify for the people who are aquarians and who are pisces now what i am trying to say is very very simple uh, ego ko chhodna padega gusse ko chhodna padega um shant hona padega don't get perturbed by what people are saying or doing because if you are on the path of absolute eternal truth nothing can touch you आपके दुश्मन अपने आप सौ मौतें मर सकते हैं अगर आप सत्य की रास्ते पर होते हो स्टे अवे फ्रॉम गॉसिप चंद्रमा एंड शनि डू नॉट एंटरटेन एनी फॉर्म ऑफ गॉसिप बी एज काम एज पॉसिबल अपने से मतलब रखिए डू नॉट पोक योर नोज इन अदर पीपल्स बिजनेसेस माइंडिंग योर ओन बिजनेस विल बी अ वेरी गुड आइडिया ड्यूरिंग दीज ट्रांजिट्स because as soon as these transits come uh, the uh, the universe is aligning towards the pavali which are the extremely beneficial days for manifesting wealth in your life for manifesting um, lakshmi in your life for which we all practice the diwali five day maha sadhana see this time uh, i am trying to create a lot of um, uh, energy and a lot of knowledge around the true meaning of mahalakshmi the times that we are living in dekhiye hum jis samay mein hum reh rahe hain na us samay mein lakshmi ka sahi matlab malum hona bahut zaruri hai money people feel very secured when they have money you know i've i meet so many people every day and uh you know people are completely uh they 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 just like the whole idea of being cash rich or having a lot of material wealth around them and then that attracts a lot of power and then let me tell you one thing that money uh, as a currency as cash is not lakshmi lakshmi comes in other forms for which we are doing satsang we are doing a lot of workshops we are doing we are taking topics from the shastras which explain about money we are doing dipavali mahasadhana uh, but usually i have seen that people are very very okay to do small time remedies to attract money you know uh, tell us a remedy uh, give us something small to do and they are very in and open to doing remedies or wearing something for attracting lakshmi but they don't want to understand that how this whole philosophy of being wealthy and rich work in your life whenever there is a lunar eclipse it triggers a lot of uh deeper uh deeper feelings in you you know so for people who have moon and ketu and moon and rahu in their charts you will be very triggered uh during this time you know because purnima and amavasya anyways are these two phases of the moon where we feel very very uh, heightened on our emotion right so for people who already have the 
eclipses of any form in their chart need to be extra extra careful people who are suffering from any illness need to be extra careful this could be a time for either the illness to increase in some form medication to increase in some form or else uh, sometimes it just you can you know you the person just leaves the body and wo moksh ki or chale jate hain so anything can happen uh, during uh, this time what i also see uh, around this eclipse and soon after that with the rahu ketu changing and rahu coming into pisces which is a very very spiritual rashi very, very comfortable for rahu and ketu being in kanya which is virgo i just see that there's going to be some sort of um, extremity happening in people like either they'll be very very uh, rest assured and you know calm and creating a very good positive energy or else they are going to be very very restless and uh, you know not knowing where to go running like headless chickens and people who are getting this feeling of running like headless chicken and not knowing whether they are on the right track or not the right profession or not the right relationship or not they they need i'm putting a disclaimer here that you need to settle down you need to calm your senses you need to understand that if you don't put a break if you don't put uh, your senses and your thoughts to rest spiritually right now then you can sabotage your own life do not um, over commit to any relationship that is also something that i see especially in love relationships if you've just found someone and if you feel that this is my soulmate you know i've i've heard people saying that that because it's so simple yeah that you know you you come out of a relationship and you've been hurt multiple times and suddenly you meet somebody and you just feel this is it uh because uh, there's so much of a vacuum inside you there's such a big void inside you and you've not found love anywhere and you keep telling yourself that nobody has ever loved me etc etc and then you meet this person and then you within 2 days you realize he is your soulmate well if he's your soulmate the time shall prove it but you need to go a little slow do not overcommit yourself because in the past two years i see kuch yog aise bane hain that jo bhi aapke jeevan mein relationships aaye hain in the past two two and a half years especially after saturn coming into capricorn and now into aquarius i have i have witnessed a lot of cases because that's how the universe behaves right I have witnessed the energies going more towards um you know a all ulterior ulterior motive in relationships and not just plain love with each other so there could be some ulterior motives that uh, the other person have or even you have for that matter you know why blame the other person all the time it's actually you your own self who has attracted uh this so for whatever need you have attracted the person and you feel he's your soul mate you have to be extra cautious in relationships to do with love new partnerships need some sort of caution do not jump into new new partnerships something which has been existing for you for the past 5 6 years is going to make a lot of sense do not jump into new partnerships without confirming whether the person is the right person for you or not business is about multiplication business is about multiplying your money so until you're sure that your business partnership is going to multiply the money for you please do not get into that sort of partnership marriage is also a partnership in astrology marriage and the business partnership we see from the same house even in a marriage the partnership is only considered a good if you can be compatible with each other if you can uh, respect each other and if you can produce a healthy progeny um so there has to be a criteria for which two people come together either in the form of marriage or in the form of business partnership there has to be growth when you get married to somebody and uh 
you know it's like one person becoming two and then you have a baby and then you become three so that is also called multiplication it is the form of growth and clearly when couples are not able to have a baby they do feel stuck so similarly if you look at it in business also when two people come together you're supposed to grow you're supposed to multiply your money but do check the uh, intentions of your business partners time and again kyunki dhokha hone ke chances bad sakte hain uh rahu and ketu are going to be in pisces and virgo for the next 18 and a half months for some people it is going to be extremely good out of the box lots of money again depends on where these two rashis are placed in your chart but for some people because rahu and ketu are very extreme planets they will never give you something very mediocre so either they'll take you on the top or they'll they'll just you know put you completely down um don't don't give in to any conspiracy in your life in a, if if somebody is trying to conspire against you don't give in to that fight it head on in the last podcast also i told you take it head on do not escape anything now the lunar eclipse is to do with mind it is to do with thoughts it is to do with your belief system it is to do with your beauty your skin there are chances that your skin issues can just rise around this time there are chances that you will be uh, too emotional and you will just take a call of uh, dropping your partnership or just moving out of marriage or something like that hold on for some time this is not the right time for taking any decision because everything done emotionally is always going to be a problem uh pregnant ladies young children please take extra care pregnancy uh can there can be some issues happening with pregnant ladies especially if these are the first 5 months of your pregnancies be extra careful stay indoors do not go outdoors stay at least i i feel that you know before an eclipse a couple of days before the eclipse and a couple of days after the eclipse you will always see the effects young children when i mean toddlers be extra careful unko chot lag sakti hai they can injure themselves drive safely everybody and uh, and yes i mean uh, be very very careful that uh, whatever you're consuming around the eclipse days is more satvic and less tamasic though your body is not capable of handling anything which is very very heavy so you need to be a little easy going in these days now i want to wind up this podcast by saying that of course we are going to meet for the satsang we are going to talk about money and the vedas we are going to discuss the deepavali mahasadhana the five magical days where you attract lakshmi in your life the right process to call her in your life but i also wanted to make this podcast as i said to you initially that a lot of people ask me because you know when they look at people who are growing extremely in their life and sustaining their success they always ask me that what is it that is different in these people and i always tell them that their devotion their surrender is complete and that is why i said to you that maybe i mean i like to say this that that is why these subjects were made for the kings and the queens because they always believed in it without a doubt and they always had the best guidance with them so please be cautious because i have seen people falling a prey to wrong um you know self proclaimed people astrologers godmen whatever you want to call them and then they mess up their lives and then they ask for remedies to come out of that well um make yourself safe just like you go to the best doctor to get yourself treated try to go to the best person to open about your life so thank you all very much har har mahadev please take care of yourselves and your family around this eclipse thank you very much we will meet soon before diwali har har mahadev